Hey guys, and welcome to my NFL season predictions for week 15 of the NFL. Um, doing this a little bit differently. Um, as far as I know, this has my face and also the screen. Um, hopefully I set that up right. If not, no big deal. But we're going to get right into it. And let's kick off with the... Thursday night game, which is right over here, New York Jets and the Baltimore Ravens. Not much on that whatsoever. Baltimore all day. I'm going to go right down. I know some of them are going to be kind of out of order. Oh, well. I'll skip the Monday night game, obviously. But Next up, we have New England and Cincinnati. Now, um, a lot of people are you know, going off on the Patriots again um, due to the fact that they were... Um, caught illegally videotaping the Bengals and Browns. I've heard a lot of mixed rumors on this. I, ha I, I haven't heard enough to make a statement or an opinion one way or the other. Um, even as a Patriots fan, I'm not going to say that they didn't do it. I'm not going to say that they did do it. But I am going to give this game to New England. Oh, that definitely just got messed up. There we go. Next up, we have the Denver Broncos and the Kansas City Chiefs. Not much to say there. Chiefs all day. Buffalo Bills, Pittsburgh Steelers. This game is going to be interesting. Um, I think this game will be a lot closer than people expect it to be. Both teams are doing well as of late, and Bills have been doing well pretty much all season. You know, record of 9-4. and four. So I am going to give this one to the Buffalo Bills to improve them to 10-4 and four on the season. Next up, we have the Houston Texans and the Tennessee Titans playing for the division lead. Technically, the Texans do have the lead over the Titans due to the fact that the uh, Texans are 3-1 and one in their division. But I am going to give this game, in a very close fashion, I am going to give it to the hometown Titans to improve them to 9-5. and five. Next, we have the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Oakland Raiders. I don't think this is a Sunday night game. Nope, it's a 4 o'clock game. So I am, uh, neither team is really all that. Oakland is 6-7, and seven, Jacksonville is 4-9. and nine. Um, It's a tough one, I gotta, I gotta admit, this is a seriously tough game. Um, I'm gonna give it to the, Ra <clears throat> to the Raiders in a very, very slim margin. Dropping the Jacksonville Jaguars down to four and ten, and bringing the Raiders up to five hundred at seven and seven. Okay, so this is Sunday night, so skip that one. Okay, I just had to see that real quick. Let's move over to the NFC, and then we'll come back to these middle games here. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Detroit Lions. Detroit Lions are three nine and one, while the Bucks are six and seven. Uh, neither team playing up to their expectations at all. Um, Jameis Winston has been doing terrible all year. The Lions have been mediocre at best, especially going 0-5 in their division. Um, I'm going to give this one to the Lions in kind of an upset. So we will have the Lions winning that game at home. Only two road teams winning so far, and that's the Patriots and the Bills. Let's see what we got going on for the rest here. We got the 10 and 3 Green Bay Packers going up against these 7 and 6 Chicago Bears in Lambeau. The Packers are undefeated um, in their division this year. I am going to give this one to the Packers. Aaron Rodgers has been doing eh as of late, but I don't think that Khalil Mack will be able to get the job done single handedly. And I think that. Trubisky will have an okay game, but Rodgers will edge him out just ever so slightly. Next up, we have the Seattle Seahawks and the Carolina Panthers. Carolina Panthers sit at 5-8. and eight. Seahawks are 10-3. and three. Uh, Cam Newton, not... I'm pretty sure Cam Newton's done for the year, if I'm not mistaken. Or, let's put it this way. He may as well be done for the year if he's not, because he's not doing great this year. In fact, I'm almost positive he is done for the year. I am going to give this one to the Seahawks. And I actually need to check up on that really super quick because I feel like he's done. Yeah, he underwent foot surgery on Monday. All right. 
Philadelphia Eagles, Washington Redskins, NFC East matchup. Eagles are six and seven, tied for first place technically in their in their uh, division, while the Redskins sit down at three and ten. Uh, Eagles and Redskins. There's not much debate on this one. Eagles. Atlanta Falcons, San Francisco 49ers. The 49ers are 10, 11 and two, and the Falcons are down at four and nine. Falcons have been playing kind of well as of late. I am going to give this one to the San Francisco 49ers. Project them a little bit higher now into their uh, division while dropping the Falcons down to four and ten. Next up, we have the LA Rams and the Dallas Cowboys, two of the better teams in the NFC. I so badly want to give this game to the Rams, especially after the way the Cowboys have played the last couple weeks. You know what? All bias aside, Cowboys have been struggling to get it done lately. Jason Garrett needs to be fired. He won't, but he needs to be. I am going to give this game to the LA Rams, dropping the Cowboys to 6-8 and eight and pretty much knocking them out of their division. Um, unless they can somehow manage to win out week 16 and 17. Who wants my attention? Alright, going back to the AFC versus NFC, we have the Miami Dolphins, the New York Giants, two of the laughing stocks of the NFL this season. The Dolphins sit at 3-10, and 10, the Giants at 2-11. and 11. Can the Giants actually get it done with Eli Manning or Daniel Jones at the helm? Has yet to be announced who's starting this week. Or can the Dolphins get another win? I'm going to say no, and I'm going to say the New York football Giants walk away with a win, improving to 3-11 and 11, and actually coming ahead of the Washington Redskins in their division. Next up, we have the Cleveland Browns sitting at 6-7, and seven, and the Arizona Cardinals sitting at, well, less, 3-9-1. <clears throat> Cleveland Browns are doing okay on the road this season. They are 3-1 in their division. I am going to give this game to the Browns. Um, Kyler Murray is okay. He's actually having a decent rookie season, um, considering what he has, or what I, I should say what he doesn't have on his team. But I am going to give this game to the Cleveland Browns, bringing them to 7-7, seven seven, their first 500 record this late in a season in, I can't even tell you how many years. Next up, Sunday night, we have the Minnesota Vikings and the Los Angeles Chargers. Both teams doing fairly well this season. Uh, the Vikings currently sitting at 9-4, and four, while the Chargers, way down here, sit at 5-8. and eight. They're doing well for the Chargers. They're not doing well, but they're doing well for the Chargers. Um, I am going to do this game without hesitation to the Minnesota Vikings and Kirk Cousins. And now, last but not least, the game that really not a whole lot of people care about. The 6-7 and seven Indianapolis Colts rolling a face off against the 10-3 and three New Orleans Saints led by Drew Brees. Drew Brees will get the win, and that is your NFL season predictions for Week 15. Ravens, Patriots, Chiefs, Bills, Titans, Raiders, Giants, Browns, Vikings, Saints... Lions, Packers, Seahawks, Eagles, 49ers, and Rams. These will be the updated standings after the picks on your left and right. Check those out. And that is going to be for me. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell. I'll be talking to you guys later. Peace, I'm out.